Hello all dinosaurs, today we have an amazing video 150 different dinosaurs in this box We have some new figures to unbox This is actually a new Camp Cretaceous Savage Strike Red Velociraptor Let's take a look at this This is actually a new figure which is just released So you guys can see this is basically the same as all the different um, action attack Velociraptors right over here So this is red in color, it's really nice and let's take a look at, at the other one which is released It definitely reminds me of like Echo So if you take a look at this This has a different pose And this is a Savage Strike version Once you press this button, the arms will move Right over here, we also have an Apatosaurus from Nanmu Studio We have a different um, variation to unbox which is in a different color Okay, next up, let's take a look at some of these eggs right over here We will be unboxing or opening four of them later on, okay? And I want you guys to also let me know what, you know, dinosaur we should be repainting next This is the Omega 09, which we have repainted recently You know, you guys really love it And I know that you guys want me to repaint more So definitely, definitely will be doing one really soon. This is Bumpy right over here. I'm gonna show you guys some of these figures that are... Um, it's from the new Camp Cretaceous egg. So if you take a look at this, this is actually the captive egg, um, which is right over here. So you can have mini figures. So we have yet to get many of the figures inside, okay? So this is another one, which is a Sinoceratops. Ooh, where is the missing head? I think it's right inside. Look, it's right over here. So you can see this is a Sinoceratops from Camp Cretaceous. We shall open one right now together. This is going to be a um, super long video, I tell you. It's gonna be over 30 minutes, so you guys have to wait to the end of this video to for me to actually unbox all the different dinosaurs. Wow, we can see this. It's super, super messy. What have we got? I think we have got the Pteranodon. Let's open this up and have a look. You can see it is extremely messy, extremely slimy. But you can see we have got a nice Pteranodon right over here. Let's get it out. A glow in the dark version. So you guys better check out my previous edit, my previous video. You can see it comes with a little circular card and it says Aggression to Intelligence 4. It comes with a head. So you need to pop this in on your own. We shall open the other three eggs later on together at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned, okay? Next up, let's open up this Apatosaurus from Nanmu Studio. How exciting this is. We are opening plenty of them. figures. Oh my goodness, you can see it just drops out uh, immediately. So it comes with the body part right over here. The entire torso, the neck, and the tail. So let's get it. Um, you know, I had a hard time trying to pop this into the previous um, um, color version. So you can see this is actually a brown version, and this is a green version. So let let us try to see whether we are able to just pop this in um, easily. So you can see it's extremely, extremely difficult. So we need to do some, you know, what I did was that I placed this figure in the fridge such that it contracts and it's easier for me to just pop the tail in. So we might probably do this um, later on. You can see this is such a beautiful figure. So have you guys seen the new Legacy Collection Apatosaurus? It's right over here. It's amazing figure, okay? But next up, let's take a look at this Spinosaurus, which is actually a, um, an inspired version of the new Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the previous um, Spinosaurus already. So this is actually a, um, a repaint of it, which I painted on my own. Next up, yes, this Spinosaurus was reviewed and opened last Saturday, and you guys love it. This is the new Soundstrike Spinosaurus. It is a new color variation, a green version. The previous one was like light gray and light blue. And Parasaurolophers, probably they may come up with new uh, Parasaurolophers. I'm not too sure, who knows. Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. Have you guys seen this? So I'm thinking of making a little short movie of the Indominus Rex versus the uh, Mosasaurus. And this is actually the fossil 
not exactly fossil, the skeleton, the bones of the Indominus Rex. Yeah. All oh, right. So have you guys watched my previous review of all these little figures? I mean, not. I mean, these figures. This is actually from a brand called Happy Keen. And if you take a look at this, this is actually an Australovenator, which is quite an unknown species, okay? And these two pteranodons are actually from the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Captive X. They are amazing, but we are still lacking um, on Carnotaurus and many other um, like Bumpy as well. This is a glow and a dark um, Baryonyx figure and take a look at how cool this Jurassic World X day look like. All right, shall we open up another one? Shall we? Maybe we should open up another rack together right now. It's really fun. It's extremely, extremely messy, but let's just open one right now, okay? I basically, you know, did a little cut over here such that we are able to just remove this um, covering much easily. So let's just get it out. The slime, I don't really like the slime because it is so super messy. But you can see this one right here is not too bad. But where is my pair of scissors? I need to get my pair of scissors. Yes, it is right over here. And let's just cut this open and take a look. And hopefully we will be able to get, you can see this as a little nice leaflet. It comes with an entire checklist. But we don't need the checklist and hopefully let's get the Carnotaurus. Nope, this is not the Carnotaurus. This is actually a um, um, echo. This is actually not really echo. I I'm not too sure. I mean, the colors doesn't really, um, the colors aren't really accurate. So let's just pop this right in. You can see this is a Velociraptor and this is the tail. Yeah, I purchased the entire box and we have yet to get the Carnotaurus, so it's kind of sad. All right, next up, let's take a look at this Legacy Collection Apatosaurus. Just take a look at how amazing this is. So we have plenty of Apatosaurus today. We have at least three of them, so this is really huge. The neck is movable. Um, the head is rotatable. The jaw can be opened. The tail can be uh, moved left and right and take a look at how massive this is and there's actually a code for you guys to scan um, in your Jurassic World Facts app but I'm not too sure whether it has been updated so you guys may probably pause the video and take a look at it, okay? Next up, let's have a look at this really wonderful um, T-Rex so this is an extreme damage T-Rex which is also a new 2021 model Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is known as the Tyrant Lizard King. It comes with this mechanism, which is so cool. So once you press it, the entire body will spin and it will just reveal um, the, the red colored version inside to actually simulate that it is injured. So extremely, extremely cool. This is extremely cool. So these are probably caused by the Indominus Rex. Next up, let's take a look at more species right here. Have you, do you guys know what you know, type of dinosaur this is. This is like a Mimi. No, this is actually a Polar Cantus. I think one of you dinosaurs actually collect, corrected me in my previous video where I mentioned this as a Mimi. This is not a Mimi for sure. This is an Oviraptor and take a look at how cool this is. It is actually holding an egg. So paleontologists actually thought, you know, they were stealing eggs, but in fact, they were actually protecting its own eggs. Right over here, we have a Charyptosaurus, which is known as the Helmet Lizard because of this little curve right on top of its head. Extremely cool. Okay, uh, you guys want me to open up another one? I think let's do it, man. Let's do it. I want to get my Carnotaurus so badly. I really want to get it. So hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to get the Carnotaurus in our... Um, you know, I purchased like 24 eggs at least, but I couldn't get the Carnotaurus. So it was extremely, extremely, you know, disappointing for me. You can see the slime is really, really gooey. Okay, um, next up, where is my pair of scissors? I'm trying to find my pair of scissors. Wish me luck, guys. Please let us get the Carnotaurus. I have purchased 24 eggs and we have still yet to get a Carnotaurus. And what is this? I think we've got a T-Rex. So this is the leaflet right here. So we're not gonna need the leaflet right now because we have plenty of them. So let's just get this out and I'll throw away um, 
So this is the T-Rex. It's pretty cool. Just pop the tail in. I mean, I love the T-Rex, but I have a couple of them already. So probably we can do like a little giveaway and this um, should be very easy to send to you guys. A little T-Rex minifigure and it comes with a very cool, you know, Camp Cretaceous logo right below. All right. Next up, let's take a look at this Mosasaurus. I think some of you guys may be asking, what is this, Dan? Is this like a new Mosasaurus? Okay, this is not a new Mosasaurus. This is actually a Mosasaurus which I have repainted, okay? This is the level 40 Mosasaurus. This sail right here, I've treated it myself, but you can see it is like starting to come off, so we need to put some glue to glue it back. I really love this Mosasaurus. I want you guys to tell me whether you guys like it as well. All right, let's move on and take a look at this. What is this? Is this a Silophysis? I think so. This is a Silophysis. This is not a Jurassic World figure, but it looks super cool. It looks super amazing. What about this one right here? This is actually one um, figure from what we call the Dino Strike, and I think it looks super amazing. The color scheme is amazing as well. This is from the Imagine Next. This is an Ankylosaurus. And this is pretty cool. You can actually place a figure right on top. You spin this, you just go into this attacking mode, you know, just by swinging the tail, this little club at the end of the tail, which is made of really tough and strong um, bones. All right, next up, let's take a look at this. This is another Camp Cretaceous new figure. This is a Stegosaurus. We have another one right here. This is Charlie. I think we've got, you know, one of it just now. This is the T-Rex. You know, we have so many repeats and this is the Pteranodon. I think there are more inside, but let's take a look at this. Do you guys know what species this is? I am not very sure. I think this is a Platyosaurus, which it is, it should be a herbivore. Or it could be like a, um, a omnivore, who knows. This is a hybrid dinosaur from like 2015. This is a Stegoceratops. So speaking of hybrids, stay tuned. Um, for next Wednesday, our video course, we're gonna do a hybrid collection video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you watch on Wednesday, okay? That is going to be an epic video. What is this? This is a Ceratosaurus from Chakme as well. Looks pretty cool. Um, this is blue. This is blue. And once again, we have yet another Charlie. So we have plenty of them. How about we hold up another rack right now? I just hope that you know we can actually get a Conotaurus. I really hope so. You know, I really really want to get a Conotaurus so bad. Okay, let's just get all the slime out first. Okay, just give me one second, okay? Alright. This is the pack. And I think we've got like a um transparent um I think we got a transparent figure. I'm not, not too sure, so let's cut this open up. Uh, let's get all the contents out. Um, I think we've got a Baryonyx. Yes, this should be a Baryonyx, a glow-in-the-dark Baryonyx. This is actually supposed to be pretty rare, but we already got one of it. But that's fine, let's just pop this in and have a look. You know, I can't really show you guys how it looks like in a dark course. I'm actually filming this in daytime. But watch my previous video, you can see it actually glows very, very well in the dark. Extremely cool. Cardinal Taurus right over here. This is not from Jurassic World, from Chapme. The beautiful, you know, turquoise looking Cardinal Taurus. Really love this. Um, this is the um, Albertosaurus. I really love this color scheme and I hope to do a repaint of this uh, someday. Um, Plesiosaurus, this is not a Camp Cretaceous figure, but this is definitely a Camp Cretaceous Gallimimus, which was released very, very recently. This is also a Camp Cretaceous Sticky Moloch, a Savage Strike, extremely cool figure. Let's take a look at this. What is this? This is actually a, um, I'm not too sure. Is this like Euplocephalus? All right. Okay, let's reach out to take a look at more Camp Cretaceous minifigure. Stegosaurus, this is also a repeat. As you guys can see, there are so many repeats of the same one. So I purchased the entire box, but it gave me so many of the similar figures. What is this? I think this could be an Apatosaurus or Argentinosaurus. Let's see, let's see. I think the name is written right over here. Argentinosaurus is actually one of the largest sauropods. Sauropods are basically dinosaurs with long neck, long tail, 
four really strong and stocky legs, okay? This is a Kentrosaurus, I suppose, which is very closely related to a Stegosaurus. All right, we have more eggs and I want to open them up. So I'm gonna reach up to my eggs, which is right over there. So I want you guys to just stay with me while I reach up to, to grab two, uh, to grab four of two more eggs. I am back. I'm gonna open up, you know, at least a few more of them because I really hope we can get the Carnotaurus, you know, in this video. So let's open this up together, shall we? Okay, so I am going to open this egg. You know, this eggs are actually very, very, very tightly wrapped, you know, to prevent the slime from just oozing out. But let's take a look at this. Wow, looks pretty amazing. Just give me one second, I'll just put the slime and um, the eggs away. Okay, take a look. Let's cut this open. Hopefully, we can get the Conotaurus. I've been waiting to get a Conotaurus for one of the longest time. And I think we have got Charlie. Yes, this is this should be Charlie. But I know that they actually uh, put some... This could... No, no, this should be Delta. They got the names wrong. Yep. So you can see, we have um, Delta right here, I think. Because Charlie is supposed to be green. And we don't have Charlie as well. So there you go, we have um, Delta right here. Okay, next up, and not a Kendrosaurus. I think this is just a different paint scheme, so you can see both of them looks really cool, and I prefer the brighter green version. What about you guys? Let me know down below. Carnotaurus Toro, yes, Carnotaurus Toro, one of my most favorite characters from Camp Cretaceous. What about you? What about you? Is it the Indominus Rex? Is it the, like the T-Rex? Baryon eggs? What about you? Let me know down below. What is this? I think... I don't think this is a um, Plateosaurus. Let's have a look. Um, this is actually a real Jarsaurus. Probably a Rajasaurus. I'm not exactly sure. So they could have you know, made a typo mistake. But you know, it's a pretty cool looking um, sauropod. This, it's a Sukomimus, a very beautiful looking Sukomimus, I really like this a lot. The paint scheme looks pretty amazing. Alright, let's see what else we've got. We've got a nice Therizinosaurus, okay. Um, this one, it's a prehistoric animal by the name of Scaphonyx, which is a pretty amazing um, looking um, prehistoric animal. You can see it has two huge fangs right in front of its snout. And we have another um, T-Rex figure which just fall off. This one, they actually name it, name it as a Pachyrhinosaurus. It's kind of weird because, um, you know, it's written right here. Pachyrhinosaurus just, you know, um, behind this crown, this crest. So it's a, quite a weird sculpt for a Pachycephalosaurus. Alright, let me just turn the box over because I want to show you guys these two baby dinosaurs. And do you guys know that there is actually a new baby Carnotaurus which is coming out really soon. I've actually made a pre-order on Amazon and hopefully they can come really soon. So this is like baby blue, okay. Uh, you can actually cut it. It's supposed to like make sound, but I'm not too sure why it's not working. Uh, probably the batteries are no longer working. And this is the baby Indominus Rex, which looks so adorable. I mean, take a look at this too. They look super cute and awesome. Okay, this one is still working. So I'm looking forward to get um, the Carnotaurus baby. I think that it's really, really cute. Have you guys seen it before? All right. Next up, let's take a look at this Camp Cretaceous figures. We have Baryonyx Green right here. They are also coming out with Baryonyx Limbo. So Camp Cretaceous Season 3 is also coming out. Have you guys seen the trailer? This is the Rory Ball. So I'm not too sure. Probably you can name this as Baryonyx Limbo. It might, it, you know, it may still work. Um, this is the Camp Cretaceous Plesiosaurus. Hopefully, hopefully they can come up with more prehistoric animals you know, in Camp Cretaceous, that would be really good because we want to see more prehistoric animals like, you know, like the Quetzalcoatlers. This is actually not a dinosaur. It's a flying reptile. So hopefully I want to see more new species. I think they have come up with a new species called um, the Masiasaurus or something like that. I can't remember the name, but they have came up with some 
a wonderful new species. And this is an Elasmosaurus, which is a um, from the Plesiosauridae family. It, it is a Plesiosaur, not a Plesiosaurus. It is a Plesiosaur, and this is known as an Elasmosaurus. Another Camp Cretaceous, um, I think this was from the Camp Cretaceous, just way too many baryonyx for me to remember the exact name. Okay, Stegosaurus from Happy King, you can see what a beautiful color scheme. I really love this. It has this really nice gray mixed with purple and yellow spots across the entire body. The roof lizard is a herbivore. Um, this is the basic figure of the Dilophosaurus. I want to show you guys this because there is a new Dilophosaurus which is like light, light yellow grayish in color. Coming out in June or September, around you know a couple of months later. I've made a pre-order as well, so hopefully I'll be able to show you guys really soon. What is this? I think this is an Allosaurus. Yep, an Allosaurus from Happy King. Pretty nice figure. Okay, you can actually move the jaw. There are no sounds. You can move the arms, you can move the legs. Pretty, pretty awesome. This is an Oranosaurus. What a beautiful color scheme. You can see a mix of blue and green on top of this orange Florence color. Wonderful figure. This is a hybrid and I'll be showcasing this along with many of my hybrid collection as well as the Omega 09 right over there. Okay, the Omega 09 is right over there. So I'll be showcasing to you Indoraptor versus my hybrid dinosaur collections on Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay tuned to next um, um, Wednesday's video. Um, I think they've actually named this as a Pachy Rhinosaurus. You know, as I've mentioned, it doesn't really look like one, but I love this color variation. It looks very, very vibrant. It looks super refreshing. Parasaurolophus. This is not from the Camp Cretaceous series for sure, but beautiful. This is once again a very beautiful um, color scheme. Majengosaurus. Hopefully, they can come up with a repaint because this is the one and only Majengosaurus. It's a pretty amazing figure, you can actually adjust the jaw on your own. It's a sound strike, so the, the moment you turn the tail, it will just move his head, move his neck, and make um, some walls. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, speaking of the new Velociraptors that we have just got, um, there are plenty of other Velociraptors to do comparison later on. And right over here, we have two of them, and these are actually from Imagine Next. The rods are not from this too, okay? The rods are actually coming up, coming from, I think, um, you know, the figures inside or outside the box. This is a Brachiosaurus from Happy King as well. A very nice figure, I like this. Small figure. This should be a Velociraptor or it could be a Deinonychus. Who knows? It could be a Deinonychus. Alright, I think we have one more egg and let's open this up together, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do this. Um, okay, basically, you can just tear this off. You're supposed to pull this, pull this off. It's gonna take me a long time, so let me fast forward. Okay, so I think this is the last act that we are opening today. I still have got um, a few more left. Just give me one second, okay? Alright, I'm just getting a slime into the bean because I'm not keeping the slime. <laughs> I mean, not surprising, right? Um, yes, the slime is extremely, extremely messy. So let's cut this open. Hopefully, come on, give me the Count Taurus, please. Oh my goodness, this is blue. Yet another repeat. I am not happy, but there's no choice. So this is blue, you can see. It has an aggression of like five and um, intelligence of five as well. We're not going to piece this up because you guys have seen this many times. So let's take a look at you know, more figures inside this box. This is a Deinonychus, I'm pretty sure, or a feathered Velociraptor. Um, this is a new, pretty new, Proceratosaurus from the Attack Packs as post. And do you guys know what is the name of this um, T-Rex? This is actually a T-Rex from Dino Train, but I have no idea because I don't really watch series but it is a pretty interesting series but I can't remember the name of it all right this is an Allosaurus from um, I think from Mojo or um, yeah it could be from Mojo it's a soft and rubbery figure pretty cool pretty cool G 
Geekonotosaurus, yes, I wanted to show you guys the comparison of that Geekonotosaurus versus this Geekonotosaurus. So let me just reach out to it. This is a new Geekonotosaurus that I have purchased and this is the previous one. This one right here is amazing. This is based on um, the DK Book of Dinosaurs book figure, the paint work, the, the, the sculpt, it's you know exactly the same as um, the one from the book, the encyclopedia, but this one right here, it just looks, doesn't look at good, um, as good, okay? Right over here with a prehistoric fish, and this is actually known as an ichthyosaurus. Very amazing figure, because I don't think, you know, Mattel or you know, Jurassic Park has actually produced a figure of an ichthyosaurus. This is pretty obscure, pretty uncommon. What about this one right here? I think um, back to spine X. No, no, no. This is not a back to spine X. I can't remember the name of this. This is actually an Ichthyovanator. Yes, that's right, Ichthyovanator. Nice figure. Very hard to find figures of this breed or this species. Another Plesiosaurus, and this is the Savage Strike, I suppose. It's just just way too many of them um, of this. And I wanted you guys to do some research on this figure. This is actually known as a, a Brictosaurus. I've never heard of this species before. What about you guys? Next up is the Triceratops, and this is actually an inspired version. It is an imitation of the Jurassic Park Triceratops. Mm -hmm. That's right. A Mangosaurus right over here. What an elegant and majestic sauropod that this is. I think this is the only sauropod which has like spikes or like thorns or you know maybe feathers, I'm not too sure what they are on at the back of his neck. So it looks very majestic, looks super amazing and elegant. This is not a Mattel figure, this is also from Happy Team Chapney and some of this little figure. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but this has been shown like plenty of times. And yes, this one is is cool. This one is cool. This is Baryonyx Green, I suppose. Baryonyx Green from you know the new Jurassic World. Camp Cretaceous Captive X. What about this one right here? If you ask me by looking at this, I have no idea what species this is. Because it is not exactly super accurate in terms of the sculpt. So let's just try to find its name um, on this figure. I think it should be written on you know on this figure. It's just that it is not extremely obvious where it is. So Abelosaurus, yes, finally I've found a name written right behind the two. This was a new figure which was released earlier this year, I think. This is Echo. I beg your pardon, you guys know I don't re remember my you know Velociraptor's names very well. This is a Pachycephalosaurus, beautiful figure. Just check out the amazing details on the face and this tail right here, super amazing looking. Tappy Gerard, and speaking of Tappy Gerard, I'm just asking myself, how come Camp Cretaceous are not releasing like new uh, flying reptiles? You know, we have been waiting for you know new flying reptiles for like the longest time, but all we get are more and more Velociraptors. <laughs> yes, and this is the new, one of the new Velociraptors that we, we uh, was released like earlier this year. I just lost count of how many types of different Velociraptors there are, you know, from Camp Cretaceous, from Jurassic World, just way too many. This is probably a Deinonychus. Yep, that's right, this is a Deinonychus. You can see it, it has a very nice sickle shaped claw at the bottom of its feet. Or um, the Lophosaurus. Um, this is probably inspired by, you know, Jurassic Park figures. You can see it has a battle damage right here. This is a weaker Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrant Lizard King, the king of T-Rex. The Liz Tyrant Lizard King, I mean, yep. This is, this is 100% not Charlie. So this should be Delta. I'm just guessing. This one right here, it's super cool. Okay, this is actually a super, uh, pretty amazing um, figure. You can see the head looks like this looks like, you know, some grass on his head. So this is actually an Oro, a Loro Titan. Yeah, a pretty uncommon species. Not many of you guys would have heard of it. As you guys can see, we have plenty of these figures. How many Delta are we getting? It's just amazing. Cotyptorix, which is a prehistoric, you know, ostrich looking bird 
like dinosaur. We have the Tabosaurus right here. Tabosaurus, we have actually done a repaint on this, you know, and, and I really love it. You know, it is the really the bright metallic green. I think you guys really love watching it. Yeah, I think so. Pteranodon, this is a very cute looking Pteranodon. You can see the head is actually, it looks way too big for its body, don't you think? Yeah, Pteranodon is known as a toothless wing. I suppose it doesn't have any teeth inside its mouth. Silarus, yeah, Silarus. Um, there's a new Silarus which we have purchased in our previous, one of, the, one of our previous videos. So this is the new Silarus right here. So which color scheme do you guys like more? Um, I'm gonna go with the red color scheme so it cause it looks really really uh, vibrant. This should be a Silophysis, I'm not sure. Yes, that's right, Silophysis. Have you guys watched Jurassic Park? You know, Silophysis was actually inside the, 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 the movie. It's really really cool. T-Rex, and this is definitely a bootleg version, which means it is inspired or it copied from the Jurassic Park T-Rex. With the Spinosaurus, which is also uh, an inspired version, but still looks very good. This, it's not exactly a new, this was released last year. This is just a basic generic Velociraptor with this action attack uh, 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 functionality. This is a Euplocephalus, I think. Not too sure what brand this is. This is probably from the Happy Keen family as well. The new Proceratosaurus, this is actually released in 2021. A new version. Love it. Next up, Pteranodon. As you guys can see, this is from Jurassic World Captive X. Another repeat. How many similar figures? How, you know, we, we just keep getting the same figures. This is the Baryon X as well. Um, a different version of the Proceratosaurus, a Dimorphodon from Happy Kinas. You know, similarly to the Pteranodon, the head actually looks way too big for its body. Do you think so? Do you agree with me? Sukomimers minifigure. This is a Velociraptor which, you know, I, I took it up because I, I want to rearrange my Velociraptor area. Another one, this could be a Deinonychus because it has some feathers on top of his head. So this is a Trodon. Trodon is actually, I think this was from the Camp Cretaceous series, but it looks very weird. It doesn't look as realistic as all the other figures that we have been getting. I am going to turn around. Okay, this is another Proceratosaurus. What is this purple dinosaur? Do you guys have any idea what this is? Contaminator, yes, this is not the best looking sculpt you can see. Head looks very weird, but it's pretty cool. The color scheme is pretty cool. I love the purple mixed with yellow paint, and it has this little heart, so definitely you can remember this as a contaminator. Microraptor, I think, I am not sure. Archaeopteryx, okay. So this is Archaeopteryx, and this is Cauditeryx, so not to be mixed up. Archaeopteryx is is more bird-like looking and this is more ostrich-like looking, okay? And not a Dimorphodon, but this is in a different paint scheme. So let us do a comparison, shall we? Where is my other um, Dimorphodon? Which one do you guys like more? I, I like this one more. This one looks very cool. There's like different structs across the, uh, the face. Like, you know, it's some tribal look and feel. A minifigure, yes, this is the Indominus Rex. It's pretty rare. I mean, I've opened like 20 eggs and this is like one of, of the two that we have received. So we have two Indominus Rex. I really love the Indominus Rex, you know. Thankfully, we actually got the Indominus Rex, but we are still missing out on, you know, plenty of figures. What is this? This is very weird looking. I have no idea what species this is, but it is actually written as, um, um what is it? It's written as a Protoceratops, but I'm pretty sure a Protoceratops don't really have this spine. I mean, this this uh, bones, this spikes, this horns, this, this thorns. <laughs> I, I'm not too sure. What about you guys? Please help me out, man. Diplodocus. You can easily remember and recognize this because of this little spikes across the entire stretch of his body, all the way from uh, the neck. To 
the end of the tail. Almost the end of the tail. The plot of cushion. We have yet another, you know, little figure. Yes, so I have covered 150 dinosaurs in today's video. There should be a Styracosaurus. And we are left with two little figures. One is Sinoceratops, which is another repeat. And the other one is a Velociraptor. Yes, that's the end of our video. We have covered 150 dinosaurs. I'm sitting on my floor and I'm getting cramps in my leg. I'm getting sore legs just by sitting for like 30 minutes. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I want you guys to choose what are your top three most favorite dinosaurs in this video. I am going to choose right now, okay? Um, definitely number one, the Omega-09. Number two, the extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex and number three, I am not sure. It will be I'm gonna I'm gonna go with um, the legacy collection of Padosaurus, alright? As my top three most favorite figures in this video. Alright, thanks for watching this. Make sure you stay tuned for next Wednesday's video because it is going to be epic. It is going to be hybrid. Alright? Thanks for watching this, stay tuned, goodbye.